the Express would have us believe that Kia's ship is every bit as prone to mutiny as Sunak's. Yeah, absolutely. It's the Israel crisis that's caused, uh, caused ructions for him. So Keir Starmer is to sack every front bench rebel over the Gaza ceasefire and brutal Labour purge. So the Labour leader is going to be poised to fire at least 10 shadow ministers who support a ceasefire in Gaza. I mean, it's weird. It looks like Keir's finally found his cojones. He can never pick a side. I mean, this is a guy who, you know, who couldn't, he can't order at McDonald's. Takes him about five hours and he just orders <laughs> whatever the person in front of him is ordered. Uh, but on, on Israel versus Hamas, he's, uh, he's come out, you know, firmly uh, on the side of, of Israel, on the, on the side of, uh, on the side of civilization, basically. And Which is the, potentially, a, not necessarily a vote loser for him, but it, it is obviously it, the, the more problematic in terms of his... Uh, well, it's, it's a vote loser for, uh, for certainly uh, some, of the, some of the legacy of the party from the Corbyn years. Yeah. I mean, in, in 2019, 85% of British Muslims voted Labour. You know, it's a huge... Yeah. So you don't see that level of bias amongst any other uh, religion. Uh, whereas now, you know, he's, he's sort of rejecting that side of things. And the, the Muslim vote has been very important to Labour. It's replaced the, the white working class vote in northern towns. Yeah. Um, but this is, this is now an incredibly divisive issue. They've got, you know, obviously a lot of Muslims, a lot of uh, woke leftists who support uh, Hamas, or, yep. you know, or certainly side or equivocate uh, uh, with Hamas. Um, but I think it'll, it'll make Labour much more palatable to the sort of middle Englanders that Keir needs to win yeah. over to win the election. It's, it's, I mean, assuming it is a, a political calculation rather than a, a firm moral principle, and I'm quite willing to assume that, I think it's probably correct. No, I think exactly. I think someone's worked out the numbers and realised yeah. that he, if he's seen to be... Remember when, like, Corbyn said, you know, oh, let's send the sample to Russia to see what they, if they say. That, <laughs> like, that yes. was, like, that, that, people say it was anti-Semitism that brought yeah. down Corbyn. It, it wasn't at all. It was that moment when people saw what they could see clearly with their own eyes and go, wait mm. a minute, this guy is an idiot. Yeah. Uh, and obviously he's learnt, Keir Starmer's learnt from those things. He has actually been tough. He's been tough on anti-Semitism. He's already kicked out Corbyn. Any times that they try to, um, the, the left or the far left of his party, have acted up, he's said to them, look, the, you, you sign this letter, you're gone. And he's done that before. Now, he hasn't actually fired anybody yet. No. But this is because the vote's going to come through and the King's... The SNP are pr pr proposing a vote for the King's speech. And, but he is, but, but he will, he'll follow through, no doubt, because, as you say, yeah. they, they have worked out the numbers, I'm sure, and he will absolutely alienate much more of Middle England than and the you, 4 million Muslims. I mean, you follow Labour more closely. Do you, yeah. do you have any particular people in mind that you think he's thinking of? I, I wouldn't be able to name names, but uh, people who I are mean, like... He's got, he's got rid of a lot of the worst people yeah. already, but... Um, I mean, ten names on yeah. the front bench who he genuinely thinks... But I think there's, like, much... They're much more, like, the second-tier people yeah. anyway. And also, they were there, arguably, to appease the left of the party. Yes. In, an, in a way, get rid of them, and yeah. I think it's a good thing. Maybe we'll get Sue Ellen. <laughs>